Hey there, Jan Kurtkas here for Quadcutters on Gigaom TV with a first look at Chrome Remote, a new browser extension that turns your Chrome browser into a TV remote control, or to be more precise, into a remote control for any Google TV device. As with any browser extension, you have to install it first, obviously, through the Chrome App Store, and then it shows up into your, in your extension toolbar in the upper right corner of your browser here. If you click on it, it gives you an overlay over your browser window, uh, there we go, this is how it looks like. And before you use it the first time, you have to pair it with your Google TV device. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but it works. It's, I had to do it twice for whatever reason, but it works. And then your device shows up, if I open the uh, Devices tab here, shows up with the local IP address here, and then you can use it. So let's go back to the remote control and uh, take a look at how this looks like on a Google TV device. Now I have to warn you, I record this at home so the video quality is not as good as it could be, not, not as good as you're used to from recordings in our studio, but it gives you a basic sense of how this works. And as you can see here, you can now use the Chrome remote control to navigate uh, from app to app, select any of these apps here on the screen, and just to give you a sense of how this looks within the app, let's open up Netflix, fire up Netflix here really quick. And while this loads up, I can tell you that you can use uh, Chrome Remote with your mouse, uh, but you can also use your uh, keyboard, your MacBook or notebook, laptop keyboard to now navigate through any of this uh, through my re recently watched list, for example. So you can just use your keyboard cursors, which is really, really nice if you have your computer on your lap anyway already. Um, so that's Netflix. Let's go back to the home screen here. Uh, there's a little bit of other functionality available here, basically all the other devices, device functionalities that Google TV has. So I could load up Live TV. If I had Live TV hooked up to me to my Google TV, I don't, so it gives me an error message. But if I did, I could also do picture in picture or for the sake of this demo, picture in picture in picture, I guess. Uh, let's go back to the home screen, enough of that. And uh, there's also, here is a microphone button. Voice search did not work for me yet for whatever reason, but apparently it's coming up in future releases. Another feature that I wanted to point to is this fling button though, which is really, really neat. To demonstrate this, let's just go back to the browser here really quick and open up Gigaom TV, our website with all our videos. And then we uh, fire up the Chrome remote again, click on this extension toolbar here. Oh, there it comes. And it's still paired with the device. I press the fling button and then it immediately shows up on my Google TV device through the integrated Chrome browser on that device. It takes a second to load up here. But then I have the full website available on my TV and I can now use the remote control to navigate that. I can uh, scroll down here if I want to. Uh, but this also gives me a good chance to demonstrate one more feature, which is this integrated trackpad. If I click on this mouse icon up here, I have basically a trackpad available through my computer that I can now use to uh, navigate the, the mouse. Sometimes it's a little tedious, but I can use it, make it work to start the video here. And then if I want to play it full screen, I need to find that button down there. So I use this integrated trackpad to go down there and then click on full screen and enjoy the whole video in full screen on my Google TV flinked from my or flung flung from my MacBook. So this is basically Chrome remote. Let's go back to the home screen and uh, I like it. If you use Google TV and Chrome, you should check it out and then let us know what you think about it.